What is up YouTube? It is Matty and it's time for a clan war overview so I hope you guys are ready and we're going to be delving in deep into the war versus Knights Legion. So pretty good war I mean same scenario as most lately to be frank which is look at the three star count and that's the difference. Um, they just again not a three star clan so it is getting a little bit um, stale. And the clan are actually, uh, we are actually outwardly looking to face people for matchups now. Because, uh, yeah, we just won a tough war. And um, I think we we had high expectations of the war we've just done as well. Which I'll uh, cover in the next recap video. But, uh, yeah, it was just a, it's a little bit of a shame. But, it, is, it well, that, that that's it. <laughs> you know, can't, you can't arrange every match who you want to be up against. And, uh, and yeah, it anyway I'll um the, the general stats are 21 three stars out of a possible 30 so in, ta in terms of the tunnel tens we did very poorly um wasn't able to, th uh, to take down two three four of the tunnel tens for the two stars um, and I think a couple of tunnel nines might have got away number 26 there um, and number 15. So yeah, not 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 our best performance, but not our worst either. So uh, anyway, moving through the videos now, we're gonna kickstart the uh, the the vid with number five, and it's Gunu. So let's have a quick scout of the base. Let's see what I'm thinking he's gonna do. Um, see, I don't know if he'd try like a Goho on this base because if you couldn't, you can just get all four Golems in and. Um, kill squad in and then sort of hog around the back edge so it's, it'll be interesting to see if he laloons or gohos this so uh, let's have a look he's going for I'm um, just trying to build to go G wee wee no it's a to go go wee wipe that's interesting um I would have been potentially inclined to do a sort of a goho on this and practice that um but hey man the, <laughs> I'm not here to, to judge of the well, I am, but <laughs> I'm not here to uh, to argue why they uh, did a strategy when it got the three stars. So he's obviously clearly trying to get the CC pool there. That didn't quite work out, though. It didn't get the full CC pool. I think he was expecting to get um, those hogs to survive longer than they did. Um, but the Tesla popped up and just wrecked the, the giant, then the hogs. Um, three witches coming in from the side angle here. Um, Golem going in as well. And th that's most of the CC dead. I, I, f I do think there's going to be at least um, one wizard, maybe two or three, in the uh, the CC left. Um, I don't think there's going to be a witch, but there might be. Anyway, the golems and wiz everything's going inwards now. Um, his wiz witch is sorry, his wizards will start dying. It was just, yeah, it was a witch, look. Um, so he's actually used a rage spell to try and hurry the king up to get in there and uh, and get to the queen, uh, the, get to the witch. Sorry, the witch is about to die. There she goes, and now the troops are moving through the core. Um, he just wants his uh, wizards to survive for them for the hopefully for now. Um, if he can get that inferno down, that'd be great, which he just did. Second freeze to help keep that inferno quiet, um, should we say? Pekka's going in, which are doing some good damage. King on the Inferno now. Um, and it's going to be a case of what what has he got left to take down the back end. Um, King and Queen are going to get caught, sort of caught up there. Um, interesting to see what happens to the rest of the base, to be honest. So the Queen's doing some good, great damage, taking down quite a lot of defences. Now on the, uh, the Expo. Um, we've got a group of witches and wizards moving down the left. King and Pekka's moving through the right. Um, and we are actually getting less and less defences left. So it seems to be working. Hopefully that group of wizards will take down that arch tower down the bottom side. He's using Barb, Minion and Archer to um, to try and hurry up taking that down. Because he knows it's important to take that arch tower down, which he's done. Um, looks like his king might end up going out and then back inwards. So I'm going to speed up the road a little bit. Um, hopefully that cannon goes down which it does and it's just and with the king on that much health easy win um, so the wizard tower is causing trouble to everything else but to the king he doesn't care he's just going to blast through and in the end he distracted it long enough to come to come home with a three star so interesting haven't seen a go uh, go we wipe three star in a long long time so moving through the next attack is by bing let's have a quick look at the base and see what i would do so this potentially could be a go 
a Valoon um, or a, a Go Weaver or whatever you call it, uh, Valks to wreck the core um, and then Loons to finish off the outside building so it could be that, it could be just a straight up hog um, so I had a sip of tea there um, let's have a look so straight up hog with some loons sort of if you were if you're in Hulk's fan club you'd call it a um a needle um goho. But uh yeah sorry it's a shattered goho. Anyway, sh ne <laughs> needle shattered goho, I think. Um anyway, double golem taking down the cannons on the outside, jump spell to get them into those defence compartments and then into the core. So a very nicely placed jump spell there because that that'll um that helped that kill squad just wreck the defences. Now, once the golems to pull the CC, which they've done, got the lightning spell to tackle them. Wizards just cleaning up those external buildings, but, um, and well, the lightning's down now as well, which is great. Once it's king to go to the core, ideally, um, start wrecking in there. The queen, where is she? She's hard to spot. Oh, she sat right in the top corner of the, uh, the core. So it looks like the whole core is going to go down. A couple of loons here to take down some of those external buildings. Look. Um, two down now, I'm th and then the group of hogs in on the left side. So nicely um, scouted so far. Assume there's a giant bomb next to that wizard tower, which there is. Look, um, predicted that with a heal spell. Um, Queen's about to get killed by the arch tower, um, and then he's got two loons down the bottom. So one loon down the bottom side to kill that cannon, um, which is nice scout. And I assume he's going to use the last loon on the right hand side as well to kill that cannon, but he doesn't need it. Um, in fact, he might use that loon to uh, to actually start cleaning up on the left side of the base. And um, that's what I would do. Drop a loon about now. Um, he doesn't even need it, to be fair. Looks like he's over spec the amount of uh, loons he needed. <laughs> Could have had what, an extra hog. Um, it's a pretty straight up, straightforward sort of, well, yeah, nice and calmly, cleanly done. And uh, came away with a three star. Uh, it sounds like my son Ben is up. Um, it was his birthday party yesterday, so I've been, got, it was pretty late night last night for us. Um, anyway, oh, it's another town hall, 10 attack. Um, so they were quite, we were outmatched on the number of town hall 10s this war. So this is uh, versus their number 10. Let's have a quick look at um, number 11 was a town hall 9. Okay, so it's 10 town hall 10s that they had. And Alexander the Great was the guy that took him down. So just looking at the strategy, it looks like it's a, um, a shattered Laloon. If, if it's a shattered Laloon, what he might do is come in from 9 o'clock, try and take both air defences down with the kill squad, um, jump into the core and try and get the Inferno, I would have thought. He's got one free spell, which means he's going to try and take one Inferno down. Um, and the double air defence, you can see, it's quite widely spread. So he's probably going to go in through 9 o'clock, I would have thought. So that's a good start, yeah. Definitely through 9 o'clock, look. So he's going to need to place a couple of wizards down now to create the funnel, you can see. He would have looked to see the, the range of defences to make sure that all the troops are going to go inwards. Um... And there you go, look, another wizard funnel. There's a nice big gap there as well, so he doesn't need to worry too much about that. Loads of wall breakers going in now. I think he might be hoping to break through two... No, he was never going to break through two layers because of the Inferno. Um, but look at the angle he's coming in. Now he's going to jump spell. He ideally, he doesn't want to open that top compartment by the uh, the air defence. Or ideally, does he want to do that? Because um, then he'll, his king will go in. But no, I, I'd say you want the king to go into the core. Here come the uh, the CC. They have been pulled. Um, he needs to do a good lightning spell now to get that witch dead. So lightning spell straight on her head, but it has has it killed it? Yes, I think so. Um, King now starting to think about moving inwards. One air defense down. King looks like he's going to go and kill the enemy king, and then hopefully the inferno tower. But queen ability now. Because they're sort of lower level air defences, he doesn't need to worry too much about taking that second air defence down. So first hound's in, look, loon's going down. Second hound in now. Um, pretty much that core has been ripped apart, which is great. Um, wait, he's going to wait for the hounds to move across before the rest of the loon spread. So two loons in now. Third hound going in as well. And now look at the loon spread. Loon's hit down bottom because of the Teslas. Reactive, nice, quick um, onto that final Tesla there. Then he's going to be looking up through the base now, waiting for those balloons to kill that air defence. Because as soon as they do, he'll be able to sort of start positioning those last two loons up north. And um, when the hounds move up there, 
You see now that the uh, the loons are moving up towards the Inferno Tower. Final Hound's actually popped now, so it's going to be all down to the luck of the loons. The um, Inferno Tower's just about gone down. The air defence is hitting the, r the wrong things for the defender, but the right things for the attacker. And boom, few loons left, so it was close. But he was able to come home with the three stars. So, uh, yeah, a good raid by Alexander the, um, the Great. So, uh, interesting to see a... Um, he, he's not got... He, he's an, Alexander's uh, Town Hall 9.5, I believe. He might be a full Town Hall. He's only got a level 4 freeze, though, so he can't be too advanced in. Um, next attack that was rated was attacked by Exaliv, which was our number 11. <laughs> um... Let's have a look at the attack. It seems to me he's going for he's going with a pretty interesting hybrid here. Um, so it looks like it's a mini go weeby front end with double golem for I assume a golem in the CC double golem for which is wizards um, sort of push in and then hogs and loons to finish the outside of the base. So uh, must have taken a while to scout this to figure out what can be looned and what can't. Maybe he's going to do front end loons. I do not know. So let's let's just take this attack off face value and see how he uh, how he picks the base apart. It looks like an interesting one. So a couple of loons there at the start to take down the first uh, cannon. Maybe he's going to do the uh, the bottom. So oh, okay, both arch towers look gets in with a giant bomb trigger as well on both sides. Okay, so we've got now all double giant bomb threats eliminated within the map, which is perfect. Um, Wizards down doing some good funneling work. Two golems down, as which I suspected, and we're probably going to see the four witches come down now with the queen and then king um, any time about now. Rage spell down to help help kill that CC quickly because we've got four witches in it. It's going to be quite a should be a bloodbath in there, and you can see slight surgical hog. Um, just being careful on the delivery, but it didn't. Well, it wasn't actually a surgical because um, they're all sort of down in one main group. He's healing the core to make, keep them alive. You've got one batch going around the outside, though. Um, interesting to see how these hogs sort of all come together and split. Now, it looks like they're going to avoid that wizard tower down bottom. Unless some split off, I'm going to start heading towards it now. Um, but he's, he's just healing the core. So, just trying to keep the hogs alive as long as he can. Um, so that when they come out the other side of the core, they can uh, start taking those defences down. Pretty risky, though. Um... I like his loon dropping there to try and help those extra defences, particularly that wizard tower which could have come back to cause him some issues, I think. Uh, unfortunately, the hogs are starting to really dwindle now. Um, two defences down by those loons, so that was nicely um, planned. And we're finally looking at the last few defences now, but we have got a go lemon which is alive. So the hog portion of the raid died pretty quick. Um, but the rest of it seems to have gone okay, like the golems and the witches are alive, which means he's got enough tanking to start bursting through walls and just getting the uh, the defences down, which is what needs to happen, really. And look, you've got a huge group coming around the bottom, but it doesn't matter. The last defence is uh, maybe just about going to go down there, and now it's just clean up. So, uh, interesting raid. A very interesting, like, go wee wee, go wee wee, oh, God. I can't go ho wee wee. Maybe, yeah, that would be that strategy. Anyway, moving through to number 8, and then we're going to call it a day on this video. As I said, it was an, it was an okay war, nothing too crazy. Quite low Town Hall 9 bases, nothing spectacular in base designs. The next war is going to be fantastic, though, I th um, in terms of replays, as I, I believe. And here we are, look. So this is the final raid. Um, okay, just trying to take a minute and assess what he's going to do. And to me... Looks like he's going to lure the CC, uh, put it up to the north, funnel his troops in to try and take down um, at least one air defence and the Inferno Tower and an Expo, and then hound the well take the rest of the base down. So it's going to be a cold-blooded, um, which means a single golem, because he hasn't got a golem in the camp, which means it's going to be one in the CC. Um... Just about got those two defences down down the bottom. That was quite lucky. He's going to probably pull them up north, I would have thought. Ooh, is he going in through the complete right-hand side of the base? Looks like he might be going through uh, the, the, a full-on right side of the base attack, which will be interesting how he funnels his troop up to go where it, troops up to where he wants to go. Um, using barbs to pull out his wizards. Or is he going to... Yeah, well, 
here come the witches look and um, be interesting to see how he takes it down one clutch wizard there to take down the main group and then now that's sort of it on the kill squad okay so he sort of suicided those witches basically they he knew they were going to go off and get killed and not do much so it's a trade to kill the cc in comes the main attack now golem king queen going in as i said he wants to take down their defense queen um inferno hopefully an uh, an arch tower sorry a an expo as well um see how good the kill squad does he's already dropped the hound and started the laloon portion of the raid look loons targeting the defenses second loon com um hound coming in from a different angle third hound coming in from another angle um so it's a full on he he's going all out so far um, going to see how well those hounds do in terms of token up damage. They are tanking quite a few inferno beams, which is quite interesting. The whole bottom side of the base has already gone down. A lot of loons coming up now. Nice timed freeze spell there. He's going to get the hounds sort of almost sat quite ne near it, but because it's only a level three freeze, it didn't quite have the same impact as the level five. But the loons are going to path straight on top of the um, inferno anyway. And I think you now you're safe to say you've got enough things going on to. Um, I like that last loon as well to sort of distract because that wizard tower can cause a lot of damage to a lot of loons and watch how quickly these loons are starting to drop actually. Um, dangerous to have that wizard tower there at the last few seconds of the road, particularly when you've got an arch tower kicker to try and uh, finish off those loons. But just again, just about enough loons to do it. Um, these raids really do come down to the wire. So... Um, but hey, it's a three star and a three star is a three star. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and yeah, a couple of Tamil 10 3 stars for you, some Tamil 9s obviously going down as well, um, and yeah, pretty pretty meh war, um, look forward to the next one, I would say, so yeah, see you later guys, catch you on the next one.